Be careful that you're not brainwashed, brothers. Be careful that you're not brainwashed. Oh, what's this? This the, the what's this? This is the mark of the beast. Is that chip? I, yeah, brothers, I sold out. I got the chip. <laughs> in the right hand, the chip, brother. You know, you know, so I could buy and sell now, right? <laughs> it's a chip. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Go pick. Just having a little fun. All right. Shalom. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect. All right, the house of David, which is on the rise. Um, want to do a brief uh, lesson. Um, as you just saw in the beginning of this, the opening of this video, uh, a supreme mocker, a supreme scoffer, you know, who um, for years has been. Um, mocking at the prophecy of uh the mark of the beast which is um in these times and on this planet earth today it's known as the rfid technology the rfid chip in which um these edomites all right are pushing man is uh they they've put billions and trillions into this um technology and the prophecy that is written in the Holy Scriptures is coming to pass. All right. As the Holy Scriptures say, um, he will use this and he will get people to accept this technology through the process of buying and selling. Because that is the essential way for people to survive in this society through buying and selling. All right. The mark of the beast has uh, Esau has various plans with it. You know, but we always bring it out, you know, and warn the people not to take it. And you have a lot of Israelite groups who uh, do all that they can to tell you that it's not the mark of the beast. All right. But in the same breath, they don't tell you what it is. They don't tell you or take a bold stance and say, don't take it. They may throw it out there. I wouldn't take it, but they don't push, you know, every Israelite group or every Israelite leader should push to the congregation their congregations not to take this technology but here it is all of this mocking and all of this scorning is june ain't no microchips you know we've been um, uh, <laughs> supposedly the stupid ones for constantly bringing it out here it is that you see it all right coming all right now i'm gonna play this video but um the bottom line is a lot of Israelites, all right, Jacob's trouble is coming, man, all right, and the Lord is going to try all of us, all right, in his own way, but a lot of us are going to be faced with death or accepting this mark, man, okay, and if you have been on the planet Earth mocking this chip, mocking this prophecy, scorning playing games when that day comes and you're threatened and your family's threatened and you don't have any food and you don't know where your next meal and it and it's and it's all it's all you know everything is 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 going to be based upon faith and spiritual uh understanding of the scriptures will be the stability of your times wisdom and knowledge as isaiah 33 says then a lot of you are going to take this and make the carnal decision all right this this microchip will fulfill esau's blessing just like yahweh bashim yahweh shai has the law statutes and commandments prepared to be written in our hearts esau has a microchip carnally to be put inside you to lock you into his system through this microchip he will be able to control your thoughts your brain he will be able to put your whole personality into a robot and kill you transhumanism all sorts of things are tied to this microchip but buying and selling is the way he's going to get you to accept it once he you accept that you've totally bowed to the image of baal you've totally accepted satan's all right kingdom so brothers all right who are out there listening do not take this madness man Okay, when you're faced with losing your job behind this, you do the honorable thing, all right, and for, for the sake 
of your salvation, all right, and for the sake of you being uh, uh, an example to the body, you don't take it, man. And whatever you lose, you lose, but you'll gain, all right, 70 and sevenfold in the kingdom of heaven, all right? But let's, let's watch this video. By next week, more than 50 Three Square Market employees will have bionic hands with a credit card chip implanted near their wrist. You just swipe your hand. Basically, it's a serial number that is assigned to your credit card. The company is offering the chips, which cost about $300 a piece, to its employees for free. The owner, Todd Westby, his wife and two children will also be getting microchipped. You're not going to be tracking your employees around town to see what they're up to and what they're doing. No, we will not. It's for entrance to the building, logging into computers, making purchases in our break room market, things of that nature. Employees will now have two ways to get into the building. They can either use the traditional keypad with their ID number, or if they're microchipped, they can just use their hands and swipe. That will allow them to open the door. Three square market makes vending. All right. Also, some years ago, you've seen all of this fraud with these different bank accounts. People lose their social security cards every day. All of these things will be put on the forefront as a reason why people should accept this technology. Credit card fraud. You know, can someone steal your hand? All of this stuff is coming. All right. And it's going to sound so good. And a lot of you jakes. All right. That, that claim yourselves to be Israelites have lived this carnal and pushed this carnal madness your whole time in the truth. Calling brothers bums. All right. Mocking, laughing, playing games. All right. When you're faced with this, you're going to, the first, your first reaction is to take it, man. All right machines with credit card chip readers. Experts wonder if this is all a publicity stunt and worry about the loss of privacy. Do you want someone knowing every time you enter or leave a room uh, or use a copy machine? There's a degree of autonomy that's lost. Well, that's what Esau wants to be. That's why he's, you know, that all-seeing eye. All right, that's why with Santa, you, when you hear that song, he knows when you've been, he know when you've been asleep, know when you've been awake, bad or good, but so be good for goodness sake. He's Satan, okay? They are going to control your every thought, okay? You won't be able to rebel, <laughs> all right? You'll be locked in, all right? They'll know your every whereabout, all right? And a lot of people say that they already have this through phones, and to a degree that's true. Phones are, you know, a tracking device, and they are a part of the image of the beast, but the actual mark of the beast will be put inside of you. And the mark of the beast is inside of these phones. They have tracking devices and all of that. But once it's inside of you, then Esau is going to get busy, all right? And he will, in his eyes, become the most high on the planet Earth. That's what this is all about. You know, it's, it's bigger than just a microchip. His plan is to become the most high on the Earth, all right? With this, you know, person-to-person, one-to-one tracking. You can never leave it behind. You can't really turn it off. Three Square Market is working with a Swedish company to implant the microchips in its employees. Everyone wants to know how big it is. That's it. The size of a grain of rice. I'm told the professional piercer is the one who actually has to put it in. To take it out, though, it's like removing a sliver. The pain factor, by the way, is like getting your ears pierced. Jamie Ucas, CBS News, River Falls. So the first thing we have to do when we get to work is swipe in with our key card. Then you sit down to start working and you need a password to log in here too. And here at our station, if you want a snack, want to come upstairs to the break room, you got to grab your snack, bring it over here, you got to use a card to be able to purchase it. But what if there was a way that you wouldn't have to do any of that, where you could be microchipped and that would basically work for the entire building? Well, it might be possible soon. Well, dozens of people are doing it voluntarily. Next week, Three Square Market in Wisconsin will be the first company in the U.S. to give microchips to its workers. They are one of those businesses that put many food markets, similar to ours, into business places. They expect more than 50 employees to opt into the microchip. This is what it looks like, about the size of a grain of rice. It gets implanted under the skin between the thumb and the forefinger, and it just takes seconds to do it. The chip implant uses the same technology as mobile payments like Apple Pay. The chip allows them to buy stuff in the break room, log into their computer. That's why you see Google and Amazon taking over everything, all right? Because they're all in preparation for this technology. Everything is being prepared. Everything is leading towards 
what we through 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 the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, through the apostles of Great Millstone have been pushing. All right, when you read Revelations 14, it lets you know that one of the main messages of the 144 would be not to take that mark. Okay, that would be one of the main things that they would be on the planet Earth talking about. Okay. All of that mocking and all of that plan. All right, we're going to see where it gets you, man. And get into the building. The Wisconsin company got the idea from a company in Sweden that started voluntarily putting chips in its workers recently. It claims the chip does not track people, but there are possible privacy concerns for the future. Yeah, because right. the company CEO says the chips have the ability to store medical and health information. Still a lot of concern about this one, though, because what if you quit or you got fired? It costs $300 to implant the chip into your body. No word on exactly how they would get it out if you needed to. All right. So a lot of brothers have been doing videos on it. You know, here's an article on it, you know. And it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's all over the world. You see this technology. All right. And this technology was slated to come through uh, the final uh, empire, the final last leg of the Roman Empire. When you read Revelations 13. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah 23 and 20. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. Okay. So in the latter days, which we're living in, you shall consider what? The prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. As Habakkuk said, write it plain on tables, right? So he that uh, read it shall run. And we've read the prophecies and we've ran out to the highways and the byways. And we've told you exactly what they've been saying, man. Okay? When you read this chapter, it starts off with the ancient Roman Empire. All right. Um, you know, it's power structure leading on down all the way to America. OK, which is the last leg of the Roman Empire, which is ran by the biblical Edomites. OK, you do research. Edom and Rome are synonymous. They're the same. You so-called white people today, you are the biblical Edomites. The Messiah's return will be through. And to destroy an Edomite ran power structure when you go into the scriptures, man. Okay? So, this is Revelations 13 and 15. And he hath power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast, all right, is the, the, the policies, the power structure, the way of life, the God, the idol worship of the ancient Roman Empire. That's the beast. And it has an image, and the image is back here today. Colosseums, malls, all of these things started in the ancient Roman Empire, and they're living today. Homosexuality, all right, uh, uh, pedophilia, all of these things go back to the ancient Roman Empire, who got their ways, all right. The 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 Greco-Roman Empire got their ways and stole gods from the Egyptian, Babylonian. Uh, ancient Sumerian, Mesopotamia empires, man. All right. Those those different gods were what they uh, implemented. And they're all back here today in some shape, form or fashion. And they have you people dumbed down. So the image of the beast is uh, uh, living through America, through this whole power structure, the NATO, the EU. All right. And the whore, which is America, rides that power structure. Okay? That the image should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image should be killed. All right? And that's a spiritual killing and a uh, physical killing. Okay? We're killed all the day long. Okay? Because we are against this society. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? So you're going to have to be in the energy of the coagula in order to make it. If you're against it, all right, you're going to be put to death. You're going to be faced with death. All right? And right when this devil thinks he's going to fill his belly, Yahweh Shai is going to come swoop down and destroy his ass, man. 
Luke 24 and 25. Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have written. And we've, re we've just read something that the prophet wrote. And we're living in the latter times where this 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 uh, vision is is speaking, and all a nigga can do is scoff and play games. But you notice there's a lot of these guys that are just quiet, okay, saying that the mark of the beast is Christianity. No, Christianity is a part of the image of the beast. Homosexuality, accepting this man's because if if Christianity was the mark of the beast, we all were under that. There's nowhere in the scriptures that says you can repent from the mark of the beast. Okay. Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image or receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine all right, of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the present of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Okay, meaning you openly took this. And a lot of us are going to be presented with this, man. Okay, others may have their own lots and their own stories, but a lot of us Israelites are going to be faced with accepting this. What are you going to do? Okay, all of this damn game plan and all of this crap and all of this laughing, uh, 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 taping, potato chips to your hand. We're going to see in that day what you Israelites are going to do, man. All of that laughing. Okay? If we if if Christianity was the mark, then we would all be destroyed because all of us at some point, all right, followed after Christianity. And then what if an atheist? So that means atheists are they don't believe in Christianity. They don't believe in the Bible. They don't believe in a God. So they're exempt Okay, Christianity is not the mark of the beast, man. So you guys are slow of mind to believe all that the prophets have spoken. It's right here. Okay? This is Proverbs 19 and 29. Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the backs of fools, man. Okay? What's this word for scorner? Lawataza, all right? To scorn, to make mouth set to talk arrogantly, to boast, to scorn, to mock, to deride. Okay, anything we say, they try to deride it, okay? And that's what these guys are doing. They're mocking the prophecies. They're mocking us coming out and trying to tell you Israelites what's what, all because of their emotion or personal vendetta or mad because they were told about themselves in some way, man. Okay? Luke 6 and 25, warn to you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Warn to you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Okay? You're going to mourn and weep. The spiritual man will have the last laugh. Okay? Woe unto you that laugh now. Okay? Woe unto you. All right? That laugh. Galeo. All right? <laughs> To, to laugh as a sign of joy or satisfaction, man. Okay? So woe unto you that laugh. Okay? And it's the same thing they did to Yahawashai, but Yahawashai is going to kick niggas like you, Blue, and the rest of you guys, mocking at us, teaching in the snow, mocking at us, pushing these, this, these videos, mocking at the prophecies. He's going to kick you all out of the room, man. Okay? This is Luke 8 and 52 when Yahawashai healed a young damsel, man. And all wept and bewailed her, but, but he said, Weep not, for she is not dead, but sleepeth. All right? And symbolically, this is the nation of Israel. And we're on the rise, man. It's another prophecy that's coming to pass, man. We're coming out of that dead state. All right? And it says, and they laughed him to scorn, all right, saying, knowing that she was dead. And he put them all out and took her by the hand and called, saying, maid, arise. And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded, all right, to give her meat, all right? <laughs> and we have that meat, that spiritual meat, the understanding 
of the prophecies, man. But before the Lord performs this miracle in Israel, all right, all the way because the miracle's already happening. But when he before he completes it, okay, he's gonna kick niggas like you out of the room, man, because you're not deserving of partaking in this gift, all right, that's on the way to the elect men, man. Okay? Mock, laugh, play games. All right, but we're going to see real soon what you Israelites are really all about, man. And how this gray area approach to this mark of the beast issue will play out in your churches, man. Okay? All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect, the house of David. Shalom. And I brainwash. Oh, what's this? This is the. What's this? This is the mark of the beast. Is that chip? I, yeah, brothers, I sold out. I got the chip. <laughs> in the right hand, the chip, brother. You know, you know, so I could buy and sell now, right? <laughs> it's a chip. <laughs> All right, man. Go <laughs> pick. Just having a little fun. Well, just having a little fun. <laughs> Still off, man. Before the brother gonna curse himself with the chip, or the brother make a mockery. Here's your chip. Tell with your chip. Himself with that, understand? And get another mark of these. Um, good man. Let's go to um, the book of Revelations. And you believe that the 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 the, the chip, the, 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 the chip that's go, that the, the, that's that's the mark of the beast. You trusting a man? So with a good fair speech, and you go into Daniel's eleven chapter and the Illuminati and Alex Jones and. What's gonna happen and what the chip is about? And don't take the chip. If you split the chip, it's dangerous. If you split it again, it's even more dangerous. If you eat it, it's dangerous. You wear it on your forehead or your right arm. You're not gonna be able to buy or sell. Man, come on, man. A simple, a simple man. He doesn't go in depth. He don't check things out. That's what a simple man does. So this is Bill Quash. I'm gonna be signing out. And I'm gonna have another Illuminati chip. This one is for you. Peace out, brothers. I love you, brothers and sisters. Stay in the spirit. And may the most high bless you. Till next time. So long. Have a little fun. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That's right. Yep, 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 yep. The impossible is right here.